Okay, it's been a while since I've done a little YouTube video, so I thought I'd give you all a catch up on what's been happening. Um, you'll be glad to know this doesn't involve any sailing or watching me wobbling around the lake in the boat. So, and it's just a, a kind of 10 month catch up really. So, what's been happening? Well, as a novice, um, I chose Hawley Lake Sail Training Centre, um, which is very friendly. Um, yeah, I couldn't ask for anything more from the club, really. So, yeah, really good. So, I bought a National Solo, which you've seen in the YouTube videos. Um, as with anything secondhand, uh, people don't sell things if there's absolutely nothing wrong with them, and, and that was the case with, with my boat. Albeit little things, um, which I've now, 10 months down the line, I've repaired. Um, at very small cost, to be fair. It's a good boat. Yeah, ten months down the line, I, I've started to um, join in the, the Sunday racing. It's handicap racing, so in theory, I could be last on the water, but first in the race with the, the handicap being worked out, and that's actually not the case. Um, the case is that they reckon, um, as a novice, you're twenty-five percent slower than some a more experienced say it's not all about racing for me it's about going out there and having a, have a good time and, and i've been doing that i've sailed pretty much every week um, sometimes two sometimes three times in a week throughout the whole 10 months the winter period and on occasions i've turned up at the lake and there's been no sailing because the lake's frozen that shows commitment or I need a couple of problems, not major ones, but they have now been um, resolved. One was the rudder um, hit the bottom of the lake, and I'll show you that little clip now of how I, I dealt with the, the issue that uh, occurred because hit of the that. bottom of the lake in shallow water. The leading edge obviously hit the bottom and was forced up. Now that shouldn't be a problem. But what did happen, as I later found out, that a long, let me show you, the downhaul line goes through the blade there, and figure of eight knot to stop it sliding through, goes out of the stock along the tiller to the cleat. Now, unbeknown to me at the time, this is a auto release cleat now I didn't know anything about auto release cleats I just thought this was loose so of course I tightened it right the way down so it didn't move so what happened when the rudder hit the bottom of the lane something had to give and I'm afraid it was at its, possibly at its worst point was the downhaul line snapped just here it couldn't have been in a worse place but i learned something because after re-rigging with a new line through getting back to the auto release cleat so if i can show you how it actually works well, there's a, a plus and a minus so you can um, increase or decrease the tension required to make it pop so your rudder's in the down position, you're sailing along, you're cleated off, everything's nice and rosy. The rudder hits the bottom, forces itself up. Obviously everything's under tension here, and what should happen if I can show you. Very awkward on this work surface. That pops up, comes out of the cleat, and the rudder is free to go up. Um, that's how it works. So then afterwards, you just pop the cleat back down with a snap, pull your rudder into the down position again, cleat it off and sail away. So, something learnt. And also the centreboard. Um, the lake is notoriously shallow in places and I was under the impression that I was hitting the bottom a lot more than I actually was. Centreboard break was perished and I'll show you a little clip of what it's like. So the centerboard brake is just a bit of hose pipe really. 
that's screwed onto the centre board, two screws, and when you screw them down, a bit of hose obviously fattens, and that fattening clamps, it works on a friction method, clamps the centre board into the centre board case. Um, because I had no uh, centre board brake, the centre board kept rising up. Um, so that, that's been solved now, and I'll show you a little picture of that. Yeah, going through my YouTube videos, and a lot of the time during the week, I have the whole lake to myself. Um, it's great, but it also has its downsides where I, I tend to do the easy thing, so I'm doing um, I'm just tacking and tacking and tacking and tacking, which is good practice, but in, what I should be doing is incorporating as many tacks as I do jars, something to work on in the future. If you want to see more of my videos, and I'm sure you do, um, just give us a thumbs up, a like, and um, subscribe to my channel. I'm sure I'll get better with time.